So I want to do this review. Hopefully I can keep it short, but there are some things that need to be brought out with the Swawa that just don't really make any sense. This is the Muradin Chocolate Tactical Billfold Wallet with the AirTag holder. And this AirTag is my AirTag. You don't get an AirTag with it. Let's make that clear. Somehow I got two of these. They sent me two. And this is what it looks like when you open the box. Okay, obviously I took the other one out. I guess maybe um, I can give this as a gift or something. All right, now, this is the interesting piece. This card comes with your wallet. And you only get one of these cards. And it says blocking plus, okay? It says your cards are safe in the Muradin wallet. Use this gift in an unprotected wallet, meaning that you could use this in an, another wallet, I guess give it to your friend, and it, it has RFID blocking material printed on the card. It it's, feels like a credit card. And it's got the blocking material, okay? That's great. My question that comes up here is, you only get one card. It clearly states that your wallet is protected. And I want you to remember that. You get this, another band, and I don't know what you do with this. Maybe you put it, give it to somebody else. I don't know. But it sure as heck does not fit well on here. And it, it actually is too small to fit on this wallet, um, as you can clearly see. So I'm not really sure. Maybe it goes this way. I, I really don't know what you do with this, but it's in the box. You get a small screwdriver, and again, I'm not really sure why you get this stuff, because if the item is so well made, then you shouldn't have to screw screws in. Again, stuff that just doesn't really make any sense. Right, and so the this is what it looks like. Money, cards, holder, ideal men's gift to air tag band. Yeah, okay. All right, so this is what you get in your box. Now, let's talk about this. This is really, really, really bulky. It is as wide, if not wider, than the box. Without the air tag holder, it's already as wide as the box. So it's pretty wide. And if maybe if you have a bag or you know you, you carry a bag of some sort with battery bank and all the stuff that you need or you have a computer bag, then it's not going to be such a big deal. But excuse me, um It is very thick, okay? Again, this air tag is mine and you have to purchase your own. Sorry, Charlie. Does it feel tight inside? No. Can I pop my air tag out? Absolutely. So is it secure in there? I'm not really sure, but it, if I guess, you know, if you don't push, push on it, like I'm pushing on the back, it stays in there. I guess. <laughs> it's not like it's not like a waterproof air tag holder that you can buy on Amazon. I bought these on Amazon and you put your air tag in there and it stays all nice. Right? And you can attach this to whatever you want. Okay? But I don't know. You know, it's it's kind of if you look at reality with this air tag, I guess it's, you know, if you have it in a bag, then you always know where it is because you'll know what your location is off the air tag. I don't know. It's kind of like a fad almost with these air tags. You never hear anything about them. Let's just talk about quality and enough with the air tag. When I initially got the wallet, 
you'll clearly see that there's like marks from the rubber here and it leaves marks on the rubber or, or on the leather. The leather is really high quality. There's no doubt about that. It's a very high quality made wallet. Um, and this is metal, this piece here, which makes this wallet extremely bulky. Now, this is the Air RFID card that comes inside the box. And this is what causes me to wonder. Now, this is really high quality here leather. It's very nice and thick. There's nothing here. This is really high quality on this side. It's really nice. You can feel it's really good quality leather. This you could fit a driver's license and maybe a passport ID card will fit in there. Not the passport card, but the small card that they give you. The snap feels a little cheap. I don't really understand why you need extra screws because if it's made well, then you shouldn't have any problems. Now, this is what draws my attention. Is this, first of all, is it worth $35? Well, no, it's not worth $35. When you put cards in here, it has a card holder piece here that doesn't allow the cards to come out on both sides. And it's somewhat of a pain in the neck to get the card to get pushed up. It would be, this is where you also put your cash at. Is it secure? Not really, because it can slide out underneath of it. I really wish that they made this lip, you know, glued in or something to here and also made it round because cards have a problem getting in. They are a pain in the neck to get in. The cards have a tendency to hit this lip and it, it, it's a real pain in the neck. Okay, this is, what, this is the end here. So if you look at this wallet, there's a piece of leather sewed here, there's a piece of leather sewed here. There's a piece of leather sewed here. My finger can fit behind here. My finger can fit under here. It says that this wallet is protected from RFID. Where is the other card that they're saying that this can be used in another wallet? Your cards are all safe in the Muradin wallet. Use this gift in an unprotected wallet. Okay, well... Where is this card in this wallet? You tell me where it is. Where is it? I don't see it. And there's no material sewed into this wallet to tell me that there's the, the, this wallet is RFID proof. I don't buy it. That's a bunch of ho hokey pokey. There, is, there should be another card in this package so that you can put your RFID blocking card in here, and then you put your cards on top of here. You understand? So in my opinion, your cards are not safe in this wallet because they didn't give you two of these. They gave you one. They tell you you can use it in an unprotected wallet, and then they tell you you can use it in the Muradin wallet. But where's the other card at? Listen, it is what it is. We never had to worry about RFID 20 years ago. I don't know why we're worrying about it today. I, I've never been scammed, and I don't know if it's even, I guess, remotely possible with, I, I don't know. Transactions happen in nanoseconds today, and pulling a card out of the air is, I would say, almost next to impossible. Maybe you could pull the card information out, but I hardly doubt that you're going to be able to make a transaction in thin air like that. And, and, and you know, because each transaction has its own number. So the chances of that happening is probably very slim. Is it really necessary? I don't know. Is it worth $35? No. And it's very bulky. So there you go. There's, there it is. There's a real review on like what they give you here. Happy shopping.